<laughs> now Stevie. Stevie's known to air him out there, Matt. Yeah, Stevie has some pretty good distance. Not bad for a kid that probably only weighs about, what, 155 pounds? And there's another long one. Here it comes. Wow. I can only dream to throw it that far. Man, you could have had a sandwich that, as long as that disc was in there. <laughs> Nico, he, I guess he did go out of bounds, so now this yeah, is his third, third shot. shot. Yep. Matt, as hard as Nico throws, your timing has just got to be totally spot on. on. Yeah. yeah. He comes up a little short. He's all right, though. He should be in all right shape to get his four, or his five, I'm sorry. What's Matt throwing here? Well, Matt, it probably looks like a mid-range. Looks like a rock he has in his hand. He's just going to throw a little ante at it and just layer up. Look at that. Then ba boom Slides hello, right in. birdie three. Very nice. Something like that. That's Steve Brinster, same thing. Probably has either a rock or, or an AVR in his hand right now. Pulled it. Up. Oh. It's out of bounds. Tough break on that one. Let's see if Dave can uh, thread the needle. He had a great drive. Dave probably throwing a like, stingray, it looks like, something like that. Wow, just between the Christmas trees it's and threads right in there. a beautiful shot right there. Now, Nico, his fourth shot is pretty far out. Very protected green here. All right, he's in good shape. Now, Steve, with his par putt, uh, he went out of bounds, so he has to take it from there when he went out, and within a meter, nice little field goal here between the trees. The jump putt, he's got the chains. Yeah. Wow. Great putt there, Matt. What a great start. Nice save of the four there by Stevie Brinster. Great putt, Steve. Nice Congratulations job. from David Felberg and two birdies. And Nico took the bogey, so Matt Orm has a one-shot lead on Dave. All right, Matt, we're moving on to basket two, par three, 350 feet. Now, this hole has changed from last year. You'll notice it's a little bit more open. That was some storm damage uh, from the nor'easters they got and ice damage took down some trees. It's a little bit more open. OB wall, that wall the whole way in a, is OB. There's a the laser cross. there. He's, he's down, down safe, though. He should be okay. This hole is really hard to reach. Matt, there's a really good view to see how fast the disc is going to fly yeah. out of their hand and go down the fairway. And these guys are pretty much all throwing drivers. It's 370 and it's every bit of it. The last little bit is uphill. And Dave, he's right up there. He's going to have a shot at it, too. That's a perfect drive. But even though they lost a lot of trees, Cubby, they still there's still some trouble there. Well, you got to guard against pulling it, Matt, and going OB over OB, the wall. OB, and you got to be careful. Those are that stand of trees that still exist there, right by that bridge. See if Nico can recover from a bogey on the first hole. Boy, oh boy! Sends it out there. That was a rip. Great jump putt just over the top. Uh, he's a little long. bit past. A little, little meat on that bone to make the par coming back should be no problem. Nico, look at that. He's got a tough spot here, yeah. man. Over the bridge, around the tree. This would be something if he put this in. He's covering the distance. And, and it's in. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. What a shot. Some great focus there. Wow. You talk about recovering. That, that is the part of a champion. You make a shot like that. Nice shot, Nico. Stevie, from a little bit closer... His jump putt just and tails off a little, a little bit fluffy the there. Now Dave after the great drive. That's almost drop in distance yeah, there. Yeah, it should be nothing but look at that. Middle of the chains for Mr. Felberg. Nice birdie. And Matt tried to save his par. And he does. Nice, These guys really putt well. Good hole there. Yeah, Dave has one shot lead still on Nico. Matt, one behind also. Basket three, Matt, par three, 420 feet. 
Uh, this is an S shot, and if you can throw this shot, you deserve it. This is a mean par three, very tight. Got to thread got, the needle here. Yeah, you go left to right, and then, well, right to left. Good luck. Early kick. Another kick. Not too bad. Should be all right. Out in the open. A little pinball action there, Cubby. <laughs> Nico sends it down. And here's some crashing. It looks like he kicked a little left. Let's see, he's throwing a driver. It's more likely a T-Bird. Seems to be his favorite disc to throw as a driver, T-Bird. That's looking good. Looking clean. Oh, and that's wow, a great that shot. Beautiful. That's a great shot. He's going to have a putt. Look at that. That's a look. Now, not only is it 420 feet, Cubby, it's, it's a little uphill, too, so it's a little farther than that. Matt almost has the John Daly look there for disc golf. Yeah, he does, but he's not as loud. <laughs> now, if it was like orange and black, you know, like some of the, you know, the psychedelic colors that John Daly has. All right, let's see if he can put this one in. Save Good the form. Oh, and another the great rim and into the putt. Chains. These guys are just spectacular putters. That you know, they're making it look easy, but it's not that easy, Matt. No. Uh, Dave Felberg, he's about 20 feet, 25 feet. No problem in there for the par. Very suave in that green shirt. Yeah, par's around. Dave maintains one shot lead on Nico and Matt. Stevie, one behind them. Still a tight group because we move on to basket four. This is a par three. 300 feet. Uh, it doesn't play 300 feet. Straight downhill, water behind. These guys are pretty much just throwing a putter or maybe a classic rock or real easy. Just want to throw it straight right down here. It makes its way it's down. It's coming down and it's still going. Oh, he gets a good break. He hits a tree. I was close to going out. And it saved him from getting wet. He's still pretty far from the basket there. Just, there's some room behind. Nico looks like he's coming in a little early left. Oh, he caught that last tree. We'll have a look. That seems to be in his range at this point. Let's see if Steve can get one right down there. And he's going about the same route as Nico. Caught a tree. He kicked a little right. We'll have a look. You know, may, these guys may be 40, 50 feet, 60 feet out, but they're still thinking they're going to make these putts. And that's an early tree, Matt. And Nico, just looks like he's just laying it up. That's a smart play there. Definitely. Didn't Good force shot. the issue. Didn't force it. But Steve, he's a little right. And look at this putt. This is a downhill thriller, as they would call it. But a lot of slope behind. Takes the jump putt and, and it's dead it. center. Another spectacular putt. Way to go, Stevie. Fantastic shot there. Dave Felberg, he's going to a knee here through a tree. He's really close to the water. Wow. Oh, that was fantastic. Thread at the needle, nothing but We're change. We're seeing some great shots here, Matt. These guys are playing spectacular. They are focused. Now, Dave has a two-shot lead on Steve, Nico, and Matt. It is getting really tight. All right, Matt, we're on to basket five, a par three, 285 feet. Well, you got your choice here. You go straight at it through the woods or take the route that most other people take. It's the left to right over water to a well-guarded basket. See what Steve can do. Oh, that's first tree. That's not good. That's going to make the whole play really hard. Well, we caught a good brick that he didn't go out into the water. Can right, break? but it's still really tough because you're not in a good spot. Now, Nico, bring it out over the water. Starting to flex back. That's yeah, a good just shot just a mid-range for him, I'm sure, or a putter. These guys aren't doing much more than that, a mid-range or a putter. And now we're going to see Mr. Orm throw the uh, side arm flick. Sends it up high, cutting back nicely. Oh, it's wow. a beautiful that's shot. That's a lawn dart right there that's, on the money. That's a birdie. We got three birdies and Steve with a bogey. And it's still tight going into the next hole. Matt. Basket six, par three, 375 feet. This is another tough hole. Out of bounds the whole way, the right side, that wall and across. You, guess you can hear the winds blowing. Pick it up. This is a tight hole. It's a 
really tough, tough three. Never mind a two. Heads up, heads up, heads up, coming, heads up. He got movement. And he looks it's to be right. inbounds. Seem to have some spectators on the course. They're all over the place. Nico sends it that's out way a early, left. and that's way that's back there. That's that's not good at all. Let's see if Matt can seize the opportunity to pick up some shots here. Oh, another early tree. This is a really tight hole. It is. What you are you throw on this hole, Matt? Well, Cubby, I'm just throwing pretty much a stingray straight down the middle, hoping it turns a little bit and leave me a spot where I can just throw an AVR approach, because there's so much danger on this hole. Stevie looked like he had the timing on that one. Yeah, he's getting through. Ah, he caught a tree, and that's the thing. You can go for it, but you know what? It's just then you're taking on the the luck of the kick off a tree where you're going to end up. Right. Now, Nico, this is his third. He's trying to get it up there, but he hit another tree, and he's going to be really working hard for his four. Now, Steve, you just have a little upshot here. He'll give it a run. But not really. Look at that. He's just trying to get it close. Right. It's nicely done. That's right there. Dave hit that tree. He's in striking distance. He's got right a here, look. Man. He got a nice kick there, actually. And he's got a look. Ah, wow. just a little bit right. That same black putter has been using for, for the last few years. Now Nico's hit big putt after big putt. And he continues. And does it again. And nicely done, Nico. Way to go. Just calm as can be and fearless. All right, well, Dave has opened up the three-shot lead. The other contenders, Stevie and Matt, are four behind. All right, Matt, we move on to basket seven. This is a par three, 370 feet. Yeah, this is another tough hole. You're playing it uphill. It's tight. It's, there's no straight, straight holes here, if you notice. you got to make the, work the dish. you got to go left to right or right to left. you got to be in the right spot. And if you get off track, you see even the top mm. pros get penalized like that. Get a little... Tip of the tree. Now, look at that gallery there. We've got a big Wow, crowd. that is beautiful. That is nice to see. Now, Steve, same way, doesn't even want to look. Knew just where he went. All right, after that nice putt, Nico steps up to Nico, the tee here. Nico trying to recover, and he throws a strong... Oh, he hits early. It's a struggle. You know, but you got a long way to go here. There's only hole seven. And Matt, Matt threads one down the middle. Uh, that fly die special. That's a beauty there. That's a beauty. Oh, he caught a tree at the end, or else it would have been right up there and pinned. And Nico trying to get up and down here. Throwing a strong shot. That's the key, the recovery from these And he's got players, a chance Matt. to save the three. Yeah, that was a great recovery shot. Here's Matt. His chance for the two. He's the closest one. Jump putt. Oh, yes, he gave missed. it a run. Now, here's Nico. I mean, we've just seen already in the first six holes how many big putts has this kid hit. He's really focused, Matt. Look, wow. he knew that was going. No he problem He knew it. I'm going to get my disc out of the basket. <laughs> See you on the, the basket. See you on the next hole, fellas. <laughs> Dave, Solid matter of fact, another, another easy Solid. putt for Dave. Dave still has that three-stroke lead, but I'll tell you what, they're all on his heels. I tell you what, there's still a lot of golf to be played. This is an unforgiving course, and here we come to Basket one Basket eight, Matt, par three, 280 feet. That's right, folks. What you see is pond is OB, and there's a lot of water. A couple ways to play it, right to left or left to right. Pick your poison, but be precise. A nice high shot there from Dave. It's going to cut back. It's really high, and that's going to hit her early. He's going to drop down. That's not really much of a putt. Depends what kind of kick he got there. Well, Nico going to go the other way. Probably with a putter here. Maybe a mid-range. Just going to throw something simple over the water. Left to right. And he'll take that shot. He's got to look. He's up top putting downhill. Looks but like a forehand shot here. Yeah, it's a little Sends bit. Sends it out. Cutting back. Yeah, if you could do that, that makes the hole a little bit easier. Oh, That's a beauty another right pin there. job from Mr. Orem. Steve Brenster try to get back on track. Oh, that's coming in. Oh, a little early. And oh, Ooh, that's out of bounds. Break. Just caught a branch there before it it's come in. It's gonna have to re-throw from there. Now Nico, this this is a look at how scary this putt is. 
Barely see the basket. OB behind it. No, he's out of control. Unbelievable putt. <laughs> Nico, way to go 